the booth radio. It's half a season. Three kings. You know what it is. Welcome back to the booth radio on Urban Grind TV. It's the pride of the East Side DJ MH Tutter. We got my boy, man, Wild in the building, Smash Cash. Y'all already know what it Let's is. Let's get it, man. Wow, we got a special guest in the building today. Yes, sir. We got the homie. We broke his record last year on Break of the Yank It. Mm-hmm. Karen turned out to be one of my favorite joints on Break of the Yankee. Okay, okay. He came through to the SAE event, killed it as always. Yes, sir. And he working hard out here, man. We got the homie Chad London in the building. What's good, bro? Chilling, bro. chilling, man. Just just happy to be here. You already know. Hey, you see how he did that? As soon as I say Chad London, he say bankrolls. You can't say Chad London without saying Bank bankroll. Bro. <laughs> That's what we do, man. We get to the money, man. No what doubt. What about, man? What's going down with you, bro? Man, I'm chilling, man. Man, just, uh... Had a long night, but you know I'm up grinding. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome yeah. to the booth radio, first and first foremost, and foremost. Man. man. Long time coming. It feels so good to be right here, right now with you brothers, man. Appreciate oh, really that, appreciate man. Appreciate that, man. You so know. let's start at the beginning, man. Who is Chad London for people who don't know? People don't know Chad London. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an artist, clothing designer. You name it, I do it. Whatever it takes to get the bank rolls, man. I hear that. Can I clothe the designer? Yeah, clothing designer. That's Free Kings, man. You can uh, follow the, the brand on Instagram, Free Kings underscore. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, actually, Free I'm King. rocking some Free Kings I, I, right I'm now. I'm liking actually, the name you know? of that, though. Free yeah. Kings. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's the logo, the F- FK right yeah, the there? FK is the key, y'all. Yep. Uh, free to think, free to live, man. That's the, that's the slogan. Free to think, free to live. How you come up with that? Like, What, what was the uh, thought process behind the whole Free Kings clothing line movement thing? It was pretty much, you know what I'm saying, all the violence going on between, you know what I'm saying, African Americans, the police, African Americans, and African Americans. And I just felt like I wanted to do my part, and I love clothes, you know what I'm saying, I love fashion, so I came up with the brand, Free Kings, so we could start conducting ourselves as kings and queens, you know what I'm saying, royalty. That's dope. Where can people find the clothing at if they're looking for it? Man, you could DM me right now. I'm uh, actually getting a website built right now as well, so... You can follow Free Kings underscore on Instagram. You can see all the new designs, you know what I'm saying? Collaborating with uh, with uh, Artware. She actually is doing the distress for the tees and everything. Right okay. Too. So we definitely make some power moves this year. So you do the pull-up game then? Like somebody, Joe, I like that shirt you got right there. You like, skirt! Here you go. Uh, man, Straight I'm off. pulling up. I'm shipping it to you, whatever it takes. I done, I done shipped a couple shirts off to Arkansas, all type of places. I went to school in Arkansas, so anybody okay. can hit me up. I'm shooting you a t-shirt. If you in Alaska, man, I'm going to get it, though. Mm. That's lit. Shout out my people in What's Alaska, What school you went man? to down in Arkansas? Oh, uh, University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff. Oh, okay. Oh, the, the big joint. Yeah. yeah. HBCU, man, 35 minutes from Little Rock, man. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, That's what yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about. Okay. Like, you play sports down there? Or you just nah, I ain't just, play no sports. Cool. Nah, I should have played sports. I, I, I was a hooper, you know what I'm saying, coming okay. up, but... It's Chicago. Sometimes the streets get you, but you know what I'm saying. College for college, for me. That's why I got my my uh my start in the game. You know what I'm saying. In, okay. a, in a music game, okay. hooked up with a few. You know what I'm saying. Uh, music majors, and they put me in the, st- the studio down now. Okay. So, yeah. So that's when you start like taking it. When you start taking it serious and decided like this, is what you want to do? Yeah, it was actually in college. Like I okay. actually uh, uh, the music majors met a couple marketing majors. They was trying to start their they own indie label. I ended up getting the studio down there. Ended up uh, putting out a mixtape that got like a decent amount of buzz in the in the town that I was in. Okay. And you know, so I was just like, I was like, wow, like yeah. I could really do this. And people started telling me I was really good, so I started taking it serious. All right. Like you got any videos, anything you work on? You got you released recently? Oh yeah, I just actually dropped three videos in one month. Uh, shout out to my homie Fame because I've been I've been putting that man to work. Okay. But yeah, if you YouTube Chad London, you'll see just in the past month I dropped three videos. I'm actually finna shoot another video. On Monday. Okay. Oh, wait, what's Monday. the three you dropped? What's the three? I dropped the uh, video for uh, my song Change. Ooh! Okay. It's a video out for Change. That's going to be on the exclusive mixtape just so y'all can know right there, man. No doubt. Uh, I got a video for my joint Ever Since off the Kinglish mixtape. Okay. Okay. And uh, my joint DNA, it was actually the intro to the uh, Kinglish mixtape. It's yeah, a video out for all three of them joints, man. We working, man. So uh, King- Kinglish is the one that's been uh, released for a while now, right? No, I actually dropped that on Christmas Eve. Okay, dropped okay. it on Christmas Eve, man. So it's it's, def- it's on Spinrilla, and it's on that Piff free download, man. Go get that joint, man. I'm talking about it's some heat on now. And you about to drop another one? Yeah, I'm gonna drop half a season probably in a, in, a, in, a, in a couple of weeks, man. I'm not playing. So you giving them something in Black History Month is what you tell them. Exactly, got to. You, you give them got to, something. man. I'm gonna get them an EP. Half a season is gonna be a little EP. For everybody, just just so they know, like Kinglish want to flow. Cause when people hear Kinglish, it's a dope mixtape, and they get, I, I gotta show them like, nah, this is what I do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, this is what I do. I okay. could produce many songs like that. 
Okay. So who's some of the producers you work with on the projects? Uh, G Money. Shout out to him. That's the one who produced uh, Bankroll. He based oh, out in Atlanta. Boy, That's like my go-to man. It's like I love dude because like it's something about his beats that bring the best out of me you know what i'm saying okay. like how future got metro booming okay. that's how i look at that's how i look at the homie g money i made the beat that's how i look at him uh my homie johnny yayo he Boy, produced to the homie. Nigga was on to johnny, the homie. Yayo. johnny yayo man shout out my homie man so yeah we just i'm just out here working but I'm, I'm willing to work with any producer but you just gotta have that heat man yeah you gotta okay. have that heat because you know what i'm saying i'm here to i'm trying to make hits i'm trying to make history so send me some classics man <laughs> So what's your process like when you go in the studio? Like how you come up with what you going with, with a song and like how you put everything together? It's crazy because when I go to the studio, I strictly go to the studio to record. When I, I actually write alone in my room. I have to be like solo dolo. I put the headphones in and I just pretty much zone out. And when I go to the studio, like most engineers that ever had me in the studio, they like, man, dude, how did you come in here and one take it? It's because I sat there and I practiced everything before I even went in the studio because there was a point where I couldn't afford studio time like that. Mm -hmm. So I had to perfect what I was doing. So as you go so in, I was going time. Yeah, I done recorded five songs before in 45 minutes. Wow. And the engineer almost threw his keyboard because he like, dude, you got over on me. But I'm like, nah. Mm -hmm. Nah, I just want to take everything, bro. Right. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't afford it. Right. Yeah, yeah. no, you got to utilize them little dollars right yeah, exactly. there. That's a hustler, though, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, man. So that's what, so is that how you came into doing the clothing as well? Like, which one popped for you first, like the music or the clothing? I would say the, uh, the music first and foremost. But as far as like with the clothes, the clothes is catching on now because people are starting to recognize me from the music. And okay. then. They know what the clothing brand stands for, okay. so it makes them want to buy to me the brand and everything I got going on. If people know my history, like I'm a guy who who grew up in the streets, you know what I'm saying, and I actually went off to college. So I'm just here, like again, it's just to inspire the uninspired. So you know what I'm saying. I'm one of them people, like don't let your sit your current situation keep you where you at. Yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying. You can get to wherever you want to be with hard work and prayer. That's dope. That's now, real dope. Now, now, with your, with your, the, you saying your base started out in Arkansas. How is that down there now? Like, you still got people down there rocking with you? You still, like, do shows down there and stuff like that? Actually, I just had some guys from Arkansas came up here a couple weeks ago, and we did a show at, uh, what's that club, Go City up north. Okay, um, we, okay. We just was there, actually, and my homie from Little Rock, me and him used to be in a rap group together. Okay. He the one who hit me up, was like, bro, my people coming up there. I, I told him about you. You on a show? You on a lineup? Oh, that's dope. Mm. So yeah, I definitely like shout out to uh, what's it, uh, Lil Rock Obama. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out to oh, him. Uh, we played his music on the show. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I, I definitely still got like real, real, real big ties still in Arkansas, man. Like again, like that's where I got my start, and I, and I love that place. You know what I'm saying? That made me who I am today. You know what I'm saying? I came out of Chicago with a whole different outlook on life because of Arkansas. Wow. That's, That's dope. What I'm about. You, you see how crazy like life work, like D Dirt featuring Lil Rock Obama. I get a lot of their music. Every time they drop something, I get it and we played it on the show. That's crazy. It's crazy. So what's next for Chad London? We know we got the mixtape coming out. We know uh, the clothing line and everything's popping. What's next for you? Right now, uh, fe actually February 25th, I'm gonna be in Gary, Indiana, at uh, backstage on Broadway. That's my first time performing in Gary. Okay. I'm taking a 30 passenger party bus there. I uh -huh. saw that. I and saw we finna that. we finna turn up. Like we finna go in Gary yeah, and invade. Your crowd with you. I'm bringing Joe. my crowd with me just to show Gary. Like man, it's all love. The Midwest, we here. And you know what I'm saying? Bad. I'm gonna be down there South by Southwest too. So if y'all see me walking around, you yeah, salute me. Oh yeah, we throwing gonna out t-shirts or something, man. We gonna be out there, Joe. You know? So yeah, make sure we get some of them free kings in the building. Got y'all, man. Got y'all. Yeah. Yes, sir. So where can people find you at on social media? Social media on Instagram, you can follow me at Chad London the number five. Facebook, Chad London the number five. Twitter, London Five Chad. But we here, man. Uh, okay. One one last thing. Well, one last thing for me. Maybe <laughs> wow, I got a hundred more. No, <laughs> no uh, quick question though. Like for it's a lot always going on in Chicago. They always put the violence and the bad stuff in the, in the news. But if you can inspire somebody, if you can inspire anybody listening to you, what kind of words would you give them if, to, about facing their dreams? I would definitely tell you that you you got to believe in yourself. You got to be educated mm. and you got to be in tune with the higher power, whatever higher power you choose. Okay. And you can't expect things to just come to you. And don't let your current situation again dictate your future. Because I've been through a lot. 
in my and I seen a lot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right now, for me to be here right now, it's a blessing. But at the same time, I know I put in a lot of hard work and a lot of days and nights I prayed to get to where I'm at right now. And I let my work ethic match my dreams. Mm, that's dope. Yeah, that is dope. Five years from now, Chad London. Five years from now, Chad London, they're going to look at me as the Jay-Z of Chicago. He really okay. did that. Okay. And I'm going to put the city on. I'm going to put a lot of artists on. And I'm going I'm to I'm I'm employ a lot of people. Like, that's that's what five, five years from now, that's where I'm going to be at. I like that. Legend. I'm trying to be up there with Pac at, with Biggie, like all them guys. Like, they're going to put me on that pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Jay-Z, my favorite artist. Man, too. And you know what I'm saying? I'm coming for the throne. That's how I feel. I'm, I'm not in the grids with that favorite artist, but okay. I'll I, 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 I rock with y'all on that one. <laughs> I rock with y'all on that See, one. See, I just looked at him like, this is the first time I ever had to look at well. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what you mean that ain't your favorite artist? I'm just saying. That's all know, good. I, I go back. It's <laughs> all good. <laughs> look, right there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good, though, bro, man. Chad, appreciate you for coming through, man. Appreciate y'all. Man. Continue to support you and everything you do, man. And yes, l- sir. And look forward to the Free Kings moving and the LFA mixtape. Please, when you drop that, come back. EP, my bad. I got when you. you drop that, come back and let's let's chop it up and break the whole joint down. All right. Appreciate you, Chad London, one. DJ MH to the Wow, the Studio. We be right back with the homie <sighs> Deep Mula in the building, man. Let's get it, man. Deep Mula, let's go. Yo, yo, it's Chad London. You listening to the Booth Radio, man? Check it out. Get tuned in. <laughs>